everyone. Hi. This is Jordan, of course, as you know. Today we're going to do a really fun video. We're going to bake some dessert. Mainly our s'mores bars, which we found at, at the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. We also bought marshmallows at the Dollar Tree because we, Why not? we wanted marshmallows, extra s'mores. So this is going to be a Baking with Jordan video yep. because reasons. My kitchen is not 100% accessible, so countertops are basically chin level, so that doesn't work. Yep. So here we go. Alright. So we have, a, have our mixing bowl, opening our, our box. Inside. We get, as we can see, there's this, there's the crust, cr <clears throat> crust mix and the, the actual bar mix. So we're gonna start with the crust. Actually, we're gonna start with by preheating our oven to 350. For the crust, it calls for a one third cup. Unsalted butter, melted, and I blocked our Yep. All right. So I'm gonna put put our butter in that little in that little bowl and and melt it in the microwave for the time being. We're using just normal butter, unsalted butter that you can find at the grocery store. Alright. Luckily, these things have measurements on them. Yep. Otherwise, it, it'd just be. The guessing game is not much. Nope. One third. Actually, a third teaspoon. Mm -hmm. eh. And we're gonna use the other. We're gonna use the other half of the butter for the actual mix because it says a three tablespoon. So it had it had actually plans in store. So that forty five seconds. It usually works for our microwave. Yeah. Essentially, I'll just put it in the in the pan and just mix it that way. But I didn't think about it after until after I poured because and um, water. And hopefully, you hear all this over the microwave. All right, and our melted butter. It's not wasn't fully melted, but it was close enough. I'm gonna leave that over there for melt this part. When until the dough forms. So, that is not a fork. Me trying to use a spoon when it says a fork. You could also use a whisk or something like that, but most likely they said fork because it's easier to get it out. Yeah, most likely this was a dollar, was a brand that actually 
went for Dollar Tree. I'll leave that be for the time being. As you see, our crust is forming very nicely. Make sure all this good stuff gets in there. It's just getting, I just want to make sure I get all the, all of it in there because that way less cleaning for me later. More crust. And more crust. I'm going to pre. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm just using a normal cooking spray. You can use vegetable oil. Today we're using canola oil because that's what we get. For this pan. We didn't have an 8x8 like it says, so we're going to make do with what we have. Or using one of our crusts from graham, uh, graham cracker crusts that we have lying about if this is not enough. Alright, I'm going to spread it about. Kind of has for what I can tell, it looks kind of like um, peanut butter cookie dough to me. So that should be fun. Alright. And this seems to actually be a proper amount once you spread it out. Because this is the first time both me and M have actually seen this. Yeah, as many times as I go to the Dollar Tree, that was the first time I had ever seen that. And this just sounded. But then again, we don't go down the cook the food aisle all that often. Yeah. It was just I wanted to go because yeah, we just ran them all in there. All right. I just wanted to make it a little smoother. Alright. Once it's pressed... Uh, I'm just... Alright, I'm going to set this aside and look, I'm bringing back our bowl because it's mainly, mostly clean so it doesn't... If you could use another bowl, I'm... Okay, yeah. I'm going to now get the bar mix. Which is our other bag. Ooh, that's a fun color. Kind of looks like it might have actual chocolate in there, which makes sense for. And the oven is preheated. Nice. about that, but it fell out of the, out of the thing, so I'm gonna, sorry about that, alright, 
I just put in the butter and and the egg. So now I need to whisk it. Hmm. Oh, I'm just wondering if it will have enough liquid because it's a lot of. Because sometimes with brownie mixes, they don't say a lot of. to put in a lot of liquid, and mm -hmm. I. So, so I usually, in those cases, add a little at milk to make it kind of milk chocolate. But that's. But I'm gonna try not to do that. Unless it looks so dry. Let me see. Oh, it's, I haven't got that review yet. I'm just making calendar. But it looks like it actually will be pretty good. Oh, it has little mini marshmallows. That's cute. Totally gonna add more marshmallows on top, but but that's just just because it makes more sense to me. Okay. As we said before, get all the stuff in. Okay, I got as much as I can out of, off that. And now, after I get a spatula, the camera keeps on trying to commit suicide, so we're gonna keep it at a more level spot. Or at least try and... <laughs> um. I'm adjusting. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god, Jordan! Well... Okay. As you can see, my phone fell... Or my... As you saw, my phone fell into the batter. Oops. Yeah. It could happen to anyone but using their phone. <laughs> and I'm having it in a weird place instead of using our tripod. Which, which kept on, on which kept on dropping it, so I'm Okay. I was making it in a more clear spot. Okay. Here's the crust. We're going to Pour, we're going to pour this in, and we're, it's already filming. Filming. Yep, we're putting... Filming. <laughs> this is why it's a fail video. Yep. We've never cooked, did a cooking video. But this is how I'm going to become internet famous. <laughs> Alright, putting this filling in on the top of our crust, which turned out to be the best part of the video. The only part of the video that didn't have issues. Yeah. Alright. Going to do this one handed because I have because I have only so many ways to do this. Okay. 
that's what I was doing. Spreading it out. Spreading it out. I'm going to do it proper now because I want this to look nice. Yeah. Still not a lot better. Next time, grabbing two boxes. Mm-hmm. On anything new. Yeah. Hopefully they still have it when I go back. Oh, I hope they do. Most likely they'll have plenty, a lot of stock for this because it'll be fall. Essentially. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Yeah. All right. That's our batter, and I'll. Oh, and you gotta get it off the side then. No, it's not that bad. Well, on the inside it. It'll be fine. But it's gonna bang onto there. I don't know. It'll be fine. Maybe. Nah. It's a baking fail. Big time. Oh my god. Anything where the pan falls into the batter is a fail. <laughs> we'll have a fail count. I'm gonna, and because I don't like following most instructions, I'm gonna put some extra, extra chocolate chips because I was wanting to see, make sure this is. And these are the mint ones. Add a little mint to make it pretty. Not that I'm doing it in any particular design, just some gin. Just making it overload. I I'm addicted to chocolate, so. So am I. So this is for us. And I'm going to put some marshmallows ahead of time, and then to put some on top to broil a bit. Or, depending on how well this turns out. Spread it out into a somewhat thin layer. Add a few more. It's never enough. What are you talking about? All right. So, this is what it currently looks like before I put it in the oven. I'll see, and it will bake for about 23 to 26 minutes. I will see you at that point. And okay. Oops. Alright, so, it's, um, it's like almost time. We have literally seconds before it is ready and it I've peaked a couple times it looks awesome it just with all the added stuff I can't test if it's done from like the bo how the box is but it looks like s'mores turn off the timer Pull it out. This definitely looks like s'mores. Now we just have to wait for it to cool off and All right, for dessert. And then we'll have I'll have Emily's husband it on beautifully different eighty six try try it, be the test tester with with her and we'll see how it goes. I I hope it's it tastes pretty good with the batter as you will see it in the in the bloopers after this. See you in a bit. We time for the test testing. Well both taste test. Oh. <laughs> here, here we go.
Oh, yeah. Reminder that we put that I added to mint chocolate chips and marshmallows on top. Very good. So for this, and this is the end of the thing. So if give if you like this video and all the mishaps that happened, <laughs> give this a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more of these. Bye. have a little outtakes for blooper purposes. If you can't eat the batter, then it's why make it. Not that it's much. It actually went into the in the pan. Yeah. This time. Not that I've made a whole batch of brownies and ate most of it. I wish I could share this with you. It's really good. Ew, no. But eggs, no. raw egg, you can't have it. Nope. Medical, whatnot. Don't want to look at anything. This is what I'm having it. But smash the sign. Mmm. So it did. See it? No, not. Look. Oh, I see um, it. No. Um. The machine. Hmm. Your butt smashed the sign. Oh, sign. Not side. Yeah. Now we play the wedding game. I do this with all my begging. I know you do. You're so funny. <laughs> this, all your other baking adventures and <laughs> your phone in the back. <laughs> no, but then again, usually my phone's next to it and yeah, I'm talking to somebody. Well, Hopefully this, these turn out like my brownies. Awesome. Well, this is baking. We probably should start figuring out dinner. So I'll have to pause that. Cool.